Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn important questions from chapter number 5 linear equations exercise 5.10 question number 1 and 2. So uh, here whenever you see these terms in word problem you have to use subtraction that is you have to use minus sign and whenever you find these terms you have to use addition that is you have to use plus sign in the word problem. So Let's go to the question. Exercise five point ten, question number one. Rahim's father is three times as old as Rahim. If sum of their ages is fifty six years, find their ages. So this is what the question. So Rahim's father is three times as old as Rahim. So Rahim's father age is compared with Rahim, right? But Rahim's age is not given. That is, that is, it is unknown. The first preference should be given to which it is compared with. That is, Rahim's father's age is compared with Rahim. So that's why we are assigning Rahim's age as uh, x. That is unknown. That's why we are assigning it as x. And what else is given? Rahim's father is three times. It means that three into x, three. Times as old as Rahim, so three into x, three x, and uh, one more information is also given. If sum of their ages is fifty six years, what is meant by sum? We have to use plus sign. So three x plus x is equal to fifty six. So we are writing as it is three x plus x is equal to fifty six. And in the next step, since they are like terms, we can use or uh, we can add it. And you'll be getting 4x is equal to 56. So it is in the form of linear equation in one variable. So next we we can now uh, find the value of x by simplifying. So when 4 goes to right hand side, it becomes divide. So uh, how many fours are there in 56? You can find uh, 14 fours are there. So the answer is x is equal to 14. So our aim to find out Rahim's age and his father's age, right? So just now we have assigned Rahim's age as x. So we found the value of x. So Rahim's age is equal to 14 years, and Rahim's father's age is 3 into 14. So 3 into x, that is 3 into 14, is equal to 42 years. Even when you add these two years, these two ages, you will get the answer as 56. That's it. Let's uh, go to question number two. Rita has eighteen meter of cloth. She cuts in two pieces in such a way that one piece is four meter longer than the other. What is the length of shorter piece? So this is what the cloth, and we'll consider this as eighteen meter of length. So what else is given? She cuts into two pieces. So one is a shorter one, and another one is a longer one. Obviously, so here uh, the way that one piece is four meter longer than the other. Again, uh, the piece is compared with the other, right? So first preference should be given to uh, which it is compared with. So here the unknown length of the cloth is assigned as x meter. So, what about the uh, rest of the cloth? Can be uh, assigned as x plus four because it is given as longer than that is more than so x plus four meter. So the length of uh, the the length of shorter piece of cloth B that is we are assigning it as x meter. So what happens according to the question? So here the total length of the cloth is equal to eighteen meter. So total means we have to Added that is we have to use plus sign in between. So x plus x plus four is equal to eighteen meter. So since x and x are like terms, we can add it. X plus x is equal to two x, and we are writing four as it is. To find the value of x, to that is we have to simplify. When four goes to right hand side, it becomes minus four. So uh, what do we get? Eighteen minus four is fourteen. So we have to find the value of x again. So when two goes to right hand side, it becomes division. 
14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, x is equal to 7 meter. That is, we have to find the length of the shorter piece. So, the length of the shorter piece is equal to 7 meter. That's it. Thank you.